live. I think I'm live on Be Live. <laughs> Welcome everyone, Marianne Markowitz, executive recruiter, wearing my coaching hat right now. This particular session is very important for all of you because I cannot tell you how many times I'm working with someone, preparing them for an interview, or I could have my coaching hat on and we're talking about their strengths and especially preparing for an interview. People are very reluctant to talk about themselves. So stay tuned, get your journal. We're going to go through five coaching questions to help you identify what are your strengths. How do you kind of tune in with, yeah, this is really a strength, all right? So we're not looking at this from an ego bragging standpoint. We're looking at this through the lens of how do I recognize this as a strength? And I'll use some of the examples that uh, kind of, you know, come up when I'm working with people. Number one, does it make you feel energized when you're doing it? Are you feeling engaged? All right, so here we go. Let's get your journal. So pretend, we're gonna do the pretend strategy while we're doing this. What are three of your greatest strengths? Just sit down and sort of think about when do I feel really good? Um, and it can be something as simple as for me, I just naturally like to give somebody a smile and say hello when I'm walking. And um, that can sometimes just help somebody else's day. It didn't cost me anything. <laughs> I can't help it. You know, even if I get nothing back from them, it's just that's who I am. So I kind of think that's a strength. And um, so what are some of your strengths? I'm starting really low. And the reason I'm doing this is, again, many people are not tuned into those innate things that you were born with, and we want to cultivate them. So again, jot down what are three of your greatest strengths? You know, I was just talking with a friend yesterday, and um it came up through, you know, chatting with somebody else in another department who said, you know, if you leave this company, I love working around you. I want you to call so I can follow you. So she's a leader. She's a nurturer. So again, think about what are your strengths? Okay. You can come back to this, but the title is what are three of my greatest strengths? Jot it down. Now, number two, Tell me about some of your biggest challenges in life and how did you overcome them? What kind of resourcefulness did you use? What kind of creativity were you, you know, can you think back to a point where you thought it was a really low point? And what was the, the spice that popped in that strength that energized you to get you over that hump? This one may take a little while. Again, you're going to journal it. Get to know yourself. What do you like about yourself? And sometimes, um, you know, we can turn this around. When I'm, when I'm working with someone on the recruiting side or coaching, I can ask them. So I'm going to call one of your references. What will they tell me about you? And unanimously, that gets people's juices going. Oh, you know, they will say this about me. I'm great at organization. I'm great at um, meeting my deadlines. You get the picture. So maybe you're you're not currently employed. You're not working. Maybe you're a stay-at-home mom. Doesn't matter. You can still ask those around you. Hey, you know, what do you see as my strength? And they will tell you. <laughs> Your inner circle will definitely understand who you are. So ask. Hey, what do you what do you like and admire about what I do? Question number four, what do you enjoy doing? And you, again, you'll know um, this is a strength when you kind of lose yourself when you're doing it. I know for me, it can be, you know, from a creative standpoint, from a learning standpoint, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm in the zone. And um, so where are you? Where do you lose yourself? So what do you really, really enjoy doing? And lastly, 
this is like a really short one. So I hope you listen to this one again. And I'll, so let's finish up on number five. So what do you yearn to do? I mean, this is something that might suggest that there are some hidden talents there. And so play around with that one. What is something that I, you know, and maybe it's just something that comes to you and you go, eh, not really. But those little thoughts, those little pings, when you're driving down the road, maybe you're mindfully walking. What is mindfully walking? That means you're walking around without a headset. You're listening to the birds. You're just, you know, letting your mind enjoy and your body and just kind of, you know, um, let those, those tensions and stresses just evaporate off of you. It's much easier for that stress to evaporate off of us like the, the, the morning dew drop instead of, you know, staying clenched in like this. If you can meditate, if you can mindfully walk again without your headset, then that's when things will, again, you'll get an intuitive hit instead of a um, hit of adrenaline. So what do you learn to do? And just kind of, you know, go with that. Maybe you think you want to learn how to play golf. I'm not saying you're going to become a professional golfer, but having that other outside hobby activity will benefit you over here on your professional side because you get creative insights when we're going back and forth. This is my little thing here on our creative. Um, well, it's not showing up. Well, that's OK. Um, on our right side of the brain or left side of the brain. So. Knowing your strengths gives you power. We hear the term empowerment. Um, I think so many of the terms in the coaching world are overused, but we'll use it today. <laughs> Instead of feeling, Ugh, I don't know what to do, take out your inventory. What are my strengths? What do I love doing? When do I lose myself? How can I use that? Because I'm kind of feeling a little bit stuck, a little bit contracted right here. How can I use that? to um, get myself over the hump. So these are the hallmarks of a very um, well-functioning person. You're resourceful. You're always growing. You're genuinely interested in growing in life. And if you're interested in yourself from a, a positive standpoint, instead of the, again, overly used narcissistic, uh, me, 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 but it, you'll feel more energized and that sends this invisible aura out there where people will be interested in you. So, and then you can be interested in them. So it's like this, this continuing, you know, ebb and flow. So what are the strengths that you have? Pick the five of them, go through the questions and report back to me. Also, I think if I can figure out the technology, I'm going to use this one as a um, premiere on YouTube Friday morning. So if you want to tune back in at YouTube, follow my channel, you'll get a notice and then we can engage with each other in terms of uh, comments and what other people have to say. And that's a lot of fun. All right. Thank you. I hope this is helpful for you. You all have strengths. Tune in. And if you can't find them, find a friend a true friend who is in your corner and say, you know, let's, will you take a walk with me? I just want to, you know, take a walk with you. Let's talk about your strengths and then see what comes back at you. All right. Make it a great rest of the week. And I look forward to hearing from you. Bye.